So welcome back to my channel, Mr. Pronounced Adventures, and this video is going to be a short one, and it's going to be about a little upgrade I did for the van for the Arctic trip, which I never really showed. So with winter approaching, the Arctic series from last winter is starting to get more and more popular, and I'm getting quite a few questions in my private messages on my Instagram and on the YouTube comments about one of the upgrades I never showed, and that's my window blinds. And where did I get them? So I didn't get these. Uh, I made them with the help of my mum, because I can't use a sewing machine. So I like to take my van into some pretty extremely cold environments and because of that I made quite a few insulation upgrades. Whilst the van itself is massively insulated already and there is a sliding door between the cab uh, to block all the heat loss via all the windows in the cab area from the habitation, I do have glazed windows in the van on the side door and the rear door and that is a loss of heat for sure. So previously I've had magnetic window coverings which just cover the glass and they were great uh, but the magnets a little bit fiddly to get to stick to the metal after I put the carpet lining on the doors. So I wanted for my winter to add some insulated window blinds. And I've got two sets. I've got one which covers the upper part of the sliding door and it's glazed window. And at the back of the van, which was seen in the lots of shots of last year's video, I've got a huge piece which covers all of the back doors, both the glazed windows, the window seams, uh, the door seams, uh, all the way around and down the middle all the way down to the floor and that makes such a thermal difference. So I'm going to show you what I use and how they attach to the van. So I made a sort of clamping system to bring these on using wooden panels which was just spare wood I had left over. The material I'm using is the same material you see on a lot of camper vans and sort of window windscreen covers and side window covers. You can just buy this material in rolls uh, on the internet. I punched holes in them so it's shiny on one side and matte on the other side and then you can buy trim which is just glued on or sewn on. So for the attachment method I've used, I believe they're called anti-loose bolts. So when I'm not using the window coverings in the summer I can just have them unscrewed and just have these plates on the windows. So these plates are actually furniture leg plates from sofas and so on. I ordered them off Amazon and the reason I use these is because they've got an, it's a pretty much a plate with an M8 bolt threaded into it and you can just screw the M8 bolt into the middle of it and they're just self tapered and then a cap on so there's not a cold bridge between the steel. Uh, I tried to eliminate most cold bridges in the van there isn't much exposed original metal work so when I'm in really cold environments I don't have any condensation or just moisture from the air freezing on the metal work in the van uh, because in those environments you will have frost forming on the metal so you can see in, in the here you can see my small glaze vent window, which I don't have insulation on in cold conditions. So to put them on and off, slot through the riveted holes, put the wooden bit over, plate over the top and tighten them down. There we go, that's how the side one works and I'll show you the back one as well. Taking the back door one out of storage and let's put it up around the back door. And there's the whole back door seam up. So a bit a little extra gap here because you've got the door locking mechanism. And then we've just got the same sort of attachment system using big plates just to hold it up and same behind the bed. And it doesn't interact with the bed either. You can still get the bed down without issue and pull it up. So it just cuts up the draft you get for the little seams. And then goes all the way down to the bottom, just uh, below the floor line as well. And all the way down the back of both of the sides. And from the outside, it just hangs down, avoiding all of the door seams. So it's still watertight, but keeps the inside of the van nice and warm. So it does um, cut usability at the back of the van. So during the winter season, or particularly on the Nordic trips, which I use this on, it means I can't open the back doors and sit in the back of the van like I do normally in the summer. But being in the Arctic when it's minus 25, I don't usually want to do that. If someone was better at sewing than me, I'm sure you could insert a zip going all the way around up there so you could zip it back during the day or have a little zip flap there so you could still peek out the back windows if you wanted. But for me, uh, that suits what I wanted fantastically. As for the sliding doors, cover it doesn't cover the seams so there is a bit of cold coming in there but it does mean i still have access to open the doors normally 
and the system just nicely slides up between the van. So the overall principle for the way I did it was to have a big air gap between the quilted material and the glass itself, opposed to having it pressed up right against. And the way that this is all clamped to the surface below being a good way of sort of sealing off that air mass and using the air gap as the insulation. But this wouldn't be my channel if I didn't have some sort of data or evidence to back up that I'm saying it works well. So here's a thermal image shot taken on the last Arctic winter trip of the side of the van. And you can see the glazed window temperature is only two degrees, uh, whilst the inside of the van for the entire trip was kept about 21 degrees. And here's some footage showing the back doors are uh, doing the filming of this video uh, with a thermal image showing the doors before I put the rear window covers on. So, quick look at the back windows with the heating on inside and about 10 degrees outside. And the heating set to 21 degrees in the van and the windows are showing 21 degrees. And this shot after about an hour having the rear window covers on. So you can see that now that the heating's been on for about an hour with the cover in that the back doors are pretty much all consistently the same temperature and doesn't have hot spots where the windows are where most of the heat was escaping or some of the door seams or door handle. And you can see it's pretty much a same temperature mass opposed to hot spots where the glass are and cold spots. There's also a bit of footage from the inside as well. So just as an example from the inside, you can see my glazed glass vent window um, versus the frame colour. And then you can now see the back of the van is pretty much a consistent temperature. Same for the sliding door window on the inside as well. So I think there's a quite a cheap way to make some custom insulated window covers. Uh, bought the raw material off eBay and I'll put a link down below where I got it from. It's available from a number of different uh, online shops for your camper van, motorhome related materials. Um, I use leftover wood for the clamps and I'll put Amazon links down to the fasteners, which you can probably find in other DIY shops as well, and the furniture leg mounting brackets. And for me, it was a cheap way of doing it and it's worked really quite well for what I've wanted. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, if you've got any questions about these or any of the other winter upgrades I did for the van, which you may have seen in other videos once I've been clearing up, or uh, things I didn't show in other videos and you want a little bit more information on, please comment below and I'll see if I can get back to you or make a video on it particularly. So thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you next time. Cheers, bye.